right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final chapter in this sequential or step-down allocation problem. And I can tell you, I'm pro you're probably even more tired than I am, but almost done. Going to make sure um, that we've got everything we need. Remember, now we're all the way down to factory office. And we're not just allocating out this 2575. We've got to include all of this stuff that we got dumped on by the other departments. So if I take all of that and I add it all up, what I now know is that I'm actually going to allocate out $3,189 worth of costs out of the factory office. So I'm going to put it over here so I'm sure that I can keep track of it, have any idea what I'm doing. Good thing is, is this is just going to be done on straight percentage. The problem tells us that preparation is going to get 50%. So I'm going to take $3,169 times 50%. And I, last time I checked, that was $1,594. The problem tells me that the mixing department of the 3169 is going to actually get 40% and 40% is going to be 1276 <clears throat> and last but not least the packaging packaging department is going to get 10 percent of the factory office cost which is going to give it 319 dollars so all i need to do now is check and make sure that i have gotten rid of every of all of my costs so when i add up the 1594, the 1276, and the 319, what I end up with is that I have gotten rid of $3,189. So I have zero costs here. And this is one of the reasons that we call this a step method, is if you look at what's happened is I got rid of all of my costs here, I got rid of all my costs here, got rid of all my costs here and I got rid of all my costs here so you can see I've kind of got this step you know deal going along in terms of of where I've sent all of my costs so one more thing to double check myself before I get to the um, factory overhead one thing I know is that all of these columns are now zero because a hundred percent of my service department costs have been passed back over here to my production departments. So, does this stuff add up? Um, what I'm going to look at is I'm simply going to look at these columns down here. Because remember, these are my dis this is my area where it's the distribution of service costs. This is what I started with and what it looked like when I very first started the problem. This is what it's going to look like now. So let's figure out if we're right. Um, what I've done is I've taken in preparation, I've taken this $6,000 and I've added it, which is the cost I originally started with, and I've added to it all of the costs that I got from utilities, plus the cost I got from maintenance, plus materials handling, and the factory office. And I came up with $13,943 in total cost for the prep department. I simply went over, I did the same thing for mixing, I took the original cost they had plus everything that was allocated to them to come up with the 11845 I then went over to the packaging department, I started with the 6950 that they had to begin with plus everything that they were allocated came up to 9712 So the moment of truth <clears throat> is always this one and that is that when I'm done allocating costs I had 35.5 to start with I've moved it all around I've stepped it down over here I've shifted all of this stuff over here I've used metered hours square footage maintenance hours you know um, the floor space, you name it, as an allocation base. And so now the big question is always, if I have allocated all of my costs correctly, 
then the total of these three columns should add up to the total amount of cost that I originally had. And lucky for me, at this point in the day, what I found is that when I added them all up, I came up with $35,500. Because everything has absolutely got to balance in this. And when I talk about balancing, I'm talking about did all of this add up to 35.5? Did all of this add up to 35.5? Because the whole point of this, as you can see, is I took all of these really service department virtually overhead costs and I was able through allocation, an allocation basis or a driver to shift my costs over here to production. Because remember, if I can shift my cost to production, then it travels with the cost of goods sold, reduces my overhead, um, and for a cost accountant, that's a really good thing. So what's the very last thing I have to do? The very last thing I have to do is I have to deal with factory overhead. And the problem tells us that we are going to determine factory overhead rates based on pounds handled in preparation and pounds handled in mixing. So for preparation, we know that, the, that they handle 500,000 pounds. In mixing, they handle 300,000 pounds. But for packaging, we don't ha necessarily handle materials, so they said we're going to base this on direct labor costs of $10,000. So now what I'm going to look at is I'm going to say for factory overhead, how am I going to calculate those individual rates? So now that I know how much of each driver, so to speak, we have, what I have up here is I actually have the total cost that we ended up with in each department. And if I'm going to apply factory overhead based on pounds handled here and here, then what I'm looking for is a rate, right? A rate per pound for prep and mixing. So in order to come up with the rate, I'm down here, I'm simply gonna say my $13,943 worth of cost divided by 500,000 pounds is going to give me a rate of 0 0.0279 per whoops, pound handled. Same way I'm going to go right here with the mixing department is I'm going to say my $11,845 worth of uh, cost divided by their 300,000 pounds is going to give me a rate per pound of 0 0.0395 per pound handled. But over here for packaging, remember I didn't wasn't using pounds, I was using dollars. Well, if I'm going to divide dollars by dollars, basically what that's going to give me it's going to give me a ratio and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take $9,702. I'm going to divide it by $10,000. And what it's going to give me is a ratio of 97.12%. And it's going to be 92.17% of direct labor costs. And what that tells me is that for overhead, Right, for overhead, for every pound, for every pound that's handled, I'm going to charge preparation with almost three cents a pound in overhead. For the mixing department, for every pound they handle, almost four cents a pound. And in packaging, for every one dollar in direct labor costs, I'm going to charge roughly 97.12% of 
of my direct labor cost as overhead. So, believe it or not, that gets you all the way to the end of the problem. Um, I know it's big, I know it's complex, but it is absolutely comprehensive. It, this one problem shows you everything that you could possibly be asked to do at your point in your cost accounting career with a step or sequential allocation method of overhead costs. So, hope it helps. Hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, depending upon when you're watching this. And I hope to see you soon.